your host, Super Soul. Thank you very much for tuning in. The Quagga! All the way from Galaxy's Edge in Hollywood Studios in, Cal in Florida and California. It's the First Order Short Range Evacuation Vehicle with Fleet Transport and First Order RS Droid. Whew, that's a mouthful. Basically, this is the ride vehicle that you go in for Rise of the Resistance, the latest ride over in the parks. And um, they've basically turned it into an actual Star Wars vehicle that your 3.75 inch figures can go in. So this looks absolutely amazing. So I can't wait to go in March, it's not long now um, until we're going to be there. We're going March and I can't wait to hopefully get a reservation to go on this ride. I've been dying to go on this experience since it opened. It's Rise of the Resistance, it's a fully immersive um, sort of dark track ride uh, with a bit of a, a simulator thrown in and I just can't wait to go on it, it looks absolutely amazing. And this droid, this uh, sorry, this uh, ship looks absolutely amazing and it comes with all that on the back and a bunch of sound effects and stuff. So without further ado, let's open it up. Alright guys, here is the transport vehicle out of the packaging looking pretty swish. I really like this a lot. Uh, so here's our little droid that we got as well with this. Um, it's just a little um, astromech droid. It's the same design as you would get if you were to create your own droid with the build droids. So if I can, you can pull the arms off, things like that, and it all just falls apart like that. So um, you can rebuild him quite easily. There we go. My, I've got a bit of a dodgy foot on mine. It's a little bit loose. I might have to give that a little bit of a glue. Um, but yeah, it's a very, a very nice little droid. Oh, it's because I've got that back to front, I think. Uh, but yeah, a nice little droid. And it's, it is the builder droid, like I said. So you can completely pull him apart, just like the other droids in the series. So that's pretty cool. And again, I've not got a black and blue droid uh, before. So I'm quite happy with that. That's a pretty awesome looking droid. I mean, fully articulated, fully motivated. His little leg pops out at the middle, so you don't have to have it, but you can have it if you want to have him, uh, you know, on, all, on his uh, wheels and stuff. So all in all, very cool little droid. Love him to bits. <laughs> his leg just falling off again. Yeah, I've, got, I've definitely got a dodgy leg on this one. But luckily my droid's not, not, not going to be up to too much wheeling around anyway, so it doesn't really matter about his leg because he's going to be inside the vehicle. So this is the actual uh, dropship part that they escape, like an escape pod, that they escape into at the end of the ride to bring them back down to Batu the planet. And uh, it comes with multiple different buttons on the side that give different sound effects, which are just over here. Oh! We've got to turn it on first. There is a little on switch down here, down below. Give that a little flick. And then... It's like the evacuation noise, I believe, isn't it? And I can't quite remember, is this, is this Arab, um, Arabish, Arabish, the Star Wars language? I can't quite tell. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. And if we turn this towards the front, you can see through the front window that there's the actual ship in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to get that out. And the way you get that out, it's just like in the ride. This You'll basically go through a bunch of like double doors that basically take you into the ship. So this is just in here. If we just push this up, that drops down, and then we can pull out the little ride vehicle. This is basically the vehicle that you ride in throughout the attraction. So again, I think this is pretty cool that they've included this. This is a really cool piece. Uh, the doors don't open suddenly. The doors are static on this thing. But as you can see here, this is where our little astromech, astromech sits. So luckily, my drive's not going to be doing much in the way of, mo of scooting around because he's going to be controlling our little capsule. And if I just bring that close to the camera, guys, you can see it just sits in there nicely. But any astromech droid will sit in there. Any R-unit droid will just sit lovely in there. Again, it's got wheels on the bottom, so you can wheel it around. There's no sound effects or anything for this. This is just a static car. But it can fit 3.75-inch action figures inside. 
So give me a minute and I'll get us some, some people to go in our attraction. Yeah. So we've got Ahsoka Tano can sit her front and centre. Oops, she's a little bit. Pull the legs out. So it is made for the longer figures as well. So the ones that are just five POA can even sit in here. I've got I've got my Black Series ones that have got a bit, bit more articulated, so they can kind of bend into shape. But you could use your five POAs in here as well because there's there's enough room, like leg room, to just sit them completely flat, like that. <laughs> His cape's gonna well get in my way. Mandalorian, we're removing your cape. I'm sorry. It does not fit in the cargo unit. And then just bend his legs a little, lift his legs up a little. And he's in. <laughs> so there you go. There's all the little characters inside. Let me just pull this down a little bit more. <laughs> So there we go, there's all the little characters inside the little ship, which is so cool. I really like that. That is so awesome. <laughs> and we can even change the droid. So I've got this little droid, like we know, it's a little bit temperamental, just place him down gently. But any droid that you have basically fit, like this is 7V. He slots in there. This is an old, this isn't like an even older droid as well. He slots in there, so any R unit droid should fit in. I'm gonna see if Chopper fits, cause if Chopper fits. Oh, Chopper fits! Right, I've got an idea. I think I'm going to have Ezra, Kanan, Sabine, and um, maybe Ahsoka or Hera sat in there and have the rebels in the, in the little ship. I think that would be a cool setup with Chopper as their astromech unit. So that's pretty cool. But I like the fact that I'm able to fit in my little three inch figures into the ride vehicle. Now let's see if even in the ride vehicle can we then slot them back in. Let's try it. There they are inside, guys. And it lights up inside as well. That is pretty sick. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, I'm really fond of this now. I think this is really cool. Um, not sure how I'm going to how I'm going to have it displayed though, because I really want this little thing displayed outside of it, because it's cool having the little figures inside of it. So I might have this just off to the side somewhere <clears throat> as a little display piece. But this is the bit you want, really, isn't it? This is the bit that we all want. It's the ride vehicle. It's awesome. <laughs> So guys, what are your thoughts on this little ship? Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Let's go back to the main cam, though, and finish off this video. So guys, I'm just gonna take this, and I'm gonna place it on the uh, stand over here. Oh yeah, so let me just turn the camera around. So here we are, it's gonna sit from now on, just here to my left to the side. Yeah, it might be facing on, actually. There it is, guys. How awesome is that? I'm really happy with that. Again, the dropship is a little bit on the bulky side, but I think I know where to go with it. I think this bad boy is going to go... And he's going to be over here. I need to move my lightsabers out of the way, but yes, he's going to be here. Move my sabers. Plus, it'll stop anything falling down the back there. So that's where that can just sit for now. Put my sabers back in front of it. There we go. Yeah. That's its new spot. Basically it's that that you're wanting, isn't it? That's the whole part of the, of the thing you want, really. But still pretty awesome. So guys, what are your thoughts on this one? Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed today's video, then please be sure you hit that subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us, it really helps out and helps us keep making awesome videos. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, may the force be with you. Bye!